Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. How y'all doing? It's Kaiser and talking about movies yet again. I know, shocker, right? So we're going to be uh, checking out real quick, just kind of a little bit of a dive on this uh, current situation. Barbie releases this weekend. And yeah, I got to admit, this one's going to be a weird one to kind of... Uh, to watch as far as like just kind of how the numbers go. I'm not sure how this one's going to go, but I think that it's probably going to be profitable. Let me kind of, let's, uh, let's just follow the, uh, the rabbit hole. And we'll, uh, we'll explain what's going on here. So currently apparently, according to this is saying the movie's got about a hundred million dollar budget. I've heard estimates of up to 149 million, uh, for this movie, which, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, is pretty low, especially for what we've been seeing with uh, Hollywood a lot lately. I mean, especially considering things like Mission Impossible, about, a, I think, $290 million, Indiana Jones 5, over 300 probably closer to $325, $350 million, uh, when you account for the um, trick accounting that they did in a lot of places. Uh, a lot of these expensive movies... They're just not making bank. And, you know, meanwhile, a, a certain uh, movie, um, something, something, freedom, uh, sound of, whatever, you know, seems to be making a lot more money. You know, it's a movie that I can't really actually say by name because then it tends to uh, get me uh, shadow banned and stuff and my videos don't go out as far. Funny how that is. You know, it's almost like... A, Hollywood doesn't want us talking about it. Hmm, shocker, I know. Anyway, so, yeah, movie right here looking at about this 100 to $149 million budget. Lower than, we're, than we've seen so far. Kind of going up over to the long-range forecast here. So, this is kind of uh, the, you know, the big two opening this weekend. We've got Barbie and Oppenheimer. And... So definitely looking like, from kind of what we're hearing, probably looking like this movie's going to do about 55 to $85 million domestically, and then probably about another $120 million, possibly international, for about $226 probably million is where this one's going to end up. That's the projections anyway, but then again, I don't know, because this movie's got plenty of controversy surrounding it. I mean, the movie was banned in Vietnam over a scene about a disputed map. Here's the map in question. So apparently there's something about some nine lines or something, you know, on this map uh, that, uh, yeah, it's, it's disputed territory between China and Vietnam. And apparently Vietnam decided, oh, you're siding with China. I know, shy, shocker that Hollywood is siding with China, their new besties. You know, but, you know, they decided, yeah, we're not going to show your movie. Ouch. There goes some theaters up in flames. And then the big question on everybody's mind that's been going around is, is this movie just super feminist or is it just feminist in general? Well, again, the uh, the strange thing is the Barbie movie, according to this, is saying, is it feminist? Depends on who you ask. Apparently, Mattel, the company that owns it, is actually trying to kind of downplay this, trying to stay out of the is it feminist, is it not feminist angle. Meanwhile, director Greta Gerwig and uh, actress Margot Robbie, Robbie, I'm not sure, attempt to explain how the movie is feminist. Uh, and, of course, none other than everybody's um, favorite wine Karen, uh yeah, Grace Randolph going off on this movie, saying that Barbie declared super feminist by film critic and YouTuber Grace Randolph. Now, if you don't know who Grace Randolph is, congratulations, frickin' lations, because um, you're better off. <laughs> this, this is somebody who gave glowing, and I mean super glowing, like practically, um, you know, given the old shine job, to Little Mermaid just not too long ago. Yeah, mm, not so good there. So, yeah, she's 
put up this tweet here. This is kind of just epically cringe. Hashtag Barbie is one of the greatest films I've ever seen. It's super fun, super feminist. I wish I could watch it on loop to see so much of what I think and feel captured in the movie was incredible. Review tomorrow when embargo lifts at 7 p.m. Eastern. Yikes. So then somebody actually asked the question, can a six-year-old see this? She's like, um, I don't know if they'd enjoy it. It's kind of like Truman Show. You know, meanwhile, you know, none other than Margot Robbie confirms Barbie is a film for children. And film includes male actor playing a Dr. Barbie. Okay. And meanwhile, we've got even more political messaging with Har- is like this uh, character, you know, Barbie stars Simu Liu says, film puts the final nail in the coffin of that very heteronormative idea of what gender is. Disney. We're not, oh, sorry, we're not talking about Disney. This is a totally different studio. Okay, I don't know who was the one who greenlit this idea, but what the fuck? I this is just this is this is absolutely dumb. Okay, seriously. <laughs> oh my god. Why? Why why are people doing this? Why do we have to sit there and do all these things and have all this politics shoved into stuff again. They say it's feminist. It's not feminist. No, it is feminist. It's also not feminist. Can you see it? Can kids see it? No, kids probably shouldn't see it. They probably wouldn't get it. On the other hand, kids should definitely see it. And then kids should see it because it throws away up out ideas of general of gender norms. And at the same time, it's also provided to be feminist. And yet, Putting a nail in heteronormative... I don't know what is going on here. My brain is collapsing in on itself because there's just so much contradictory bullshit going on. I mean... Uh, yeah. Get on with it. Yes, get on with it! I am enjoying this scene. Get on with it! Okay, I guess I really don't have a whole lot more to talk about it in regard to that. I mean, it's just, it it kind of, it's ridiculous if you really get down to it that we have to have all this politics and just embedded in our movies all over again. I don't know why. I mean, I'm sitting here going back through like a whole big old 80s catalog on, uh, you know, watching HBO Max the other day or just Max as they call it now. I'm going to call it HBO Max, whatever. You go back through like a whole bunch of 80s movies and just like remembering, God, remember how nice it was to not have like overtly just ridiculous politics beating you over the head every five minutes? And when actors typically kind of, you know, didn't have a means to talk to the masses through social media because it wasn't a thing yet. Those were the days. Anyway... Thank you all so much for watching. Definitely go down there, hit that like button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I got more videos coming out soon. We got some live streams coming up this week. And I will see you all on the next video. Peace. (laughs) 